Did you know babies and children can get urinary tract infections? Kira was usually a happy baby, but she had been fussy all morning. At first, it seemed as though she was just teething, but by mid-morning, Kira had a fever. She was refusing to eat and drink, wouldn't settle for a nap, and still had not had a wet diaper. Kira hadn't had these symptoms before, and Kira's mom didn't know what was wrong, so she called HealthLink. The nurse told her if Kira continued to have a fever and was still refusing to drink and did not pee in at least eight hours, they should visit a doctor or the emergency department. That evening, Kira was still very fussy and had refused to eat or drink all day. Her pediatrician's office was closed, so her mom took her to the emergency department. Seek emergency care if your child is less than three months old and has a fever, has not peed in at least eight hours, or is showing signs of dehydration, is vomiting, is very sleepy and difficult to wake up. Visit your doctor or a walk-in clinic if your child has pain when peeing, has pee that looks pink, red, brown, or cloudy, or if your child has pee with a strange smell. The doctor at the emergency department explained that they would do a few tests to try to understand what was wrong. Depending on your child's symptoms and age, different tests may be used for diagnosis. A nurse wrapped Kira up in a blanket and told Kira's mom how to hold her so they could get the samples needed for the tests. The nurse warned her that Kira would be uncomfortable and would likely start crying when she took the samples. A needle was used to take a small blood sample and then a catheter was used to get a urine sample. A catheter is a small tube that is used to remove fluid from the body. For a urine sample, a catheter is inserted in the urethra. Catheters are not always needed. For example, children who are able to pee in a toilet may be able to provide a midstream urine sample. Kira's blood and urine samples were sent to the lab for testing, and when the results came back, the doctor told Kira's mom that Kira had a urinary tract infection. Urinary tract infections, or UTIs, are bacterial infections of the urinary tract, which includes the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. Kira's mom remembered her older son, Sam, getting a UTI last year, but it was easier to know what was going on because Sam was old enough to say that it hurt him to pee. Symptoms may be different between older and younger children. It can be hard to tell what's wrong with younger children when they can't tell you how they feel. UTI symptoms in babies or young children under the age of five may include pee that has a strange smell, less pee than normal for your child, accidents if they are toilet trained, vomiting, loss of appetite, fussiness, and fever. Symptoms in older children may include pain or burning when peeing, needing to pee often, less pee than normal for your child, accidents, loss of bladder control, pee that smells or is red or pink, back pain, lower belly pain, and fever. Talk to your healthcare provider if your child has a fever and you think they could have a urinary tract infection. Early diagnosis and treatment is important to prevent complications and serious illness. UTIs are treated with antibiotics. Remember to always follow your healthcare provider's instructions and always finish the antibiotics prescribed. Children's acetaminophen or ibuprofen can be used to help manage pain and fever. Always follow the directions on the bottle unless your healthcare provider prescribes a different dose based on weight. Make sure your child drinks plenty of fluids throughout the day to stay hydrated. If your baby has a UTI, change their diaper often, always wiping from front to back. If your child's symptoms don't go away 24 to 48 hours after seeing a doctor and being treated with antibiotics, you should give your child Tylenol or Advil to help manage pain and discomfort. You should then seek care by either calling your doctor or health link, going to a MediCenter, urgent care clinic, or an emergency department. Children under 12 months with a UTI and fever will generally have a follow-up ultrasound to look for possible kidney damage. These tips may help prevent UTIs. Change dirty diapers right away. Teach children to pee regularly. Teach girls to wipe gently from front to back and avoid using perfumed soaps or bubble baths that might cause irritation. 
Kira was given a prescription for antibiotics, and within 24 hours, she was in a much better mood. She was drinking lots of fluid, peeing throughout the day, and even ate her food. Children typically begin to feel better 24 to 48 hours after antibiotics are started. Remember to always finish all the antibiotics prescribed.